नमस्कार वेलकम टू वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट आई एम डॉक्टर आनंद कुमार दास साइंटिस्ट स्टेफ टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वेदर व्हाट हैपन ड्यूरिंग पास्ट वीक एंड आल्सो विल बी गिविंग ए ग्लिम्स ऑफ फोरकास्ट फॉर कमिंग टू वीक्स सो इफ वी कंसिडर द वेदर सिस्टम ऑफ लास्ट वीक दैट इज द फर्स्ट इट स्टार्टेड विथ ईस्ट वेस्ट ट्राफ on 29th uh, june and then it was uh, extending from northwest rajasthan to nagaland so it persisted uh, till 1st july and then uh, as monsoon progressed and situation uh, became uh, favorable to complete the whole country co to cover the whole country then uh, the monsoon trough appeared and the monsoon trough then from 2nd july to 5th july actually uh, uh, existed from uh, at its normal position or south of its normal position then there was on low pressure area in the beginning of the week on 29th over uh, northwest madhya pradesh uh, but then it le became less marked next day and then Uh, then associated cyclonic circulation persisted over uh, central parts of up or northwest up from uh, uh, that uh, 30th uh, june to uh, 5th uh, july and today it became less marked and then uh, there was cyclonic circulation in the beginning of the week from uh, 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 that uh, over uh, west central uh, bay of bengal and adjoining southeast bay of bengal Uh, of uh, andhra pradesh uh, coast uh, from 3rd july to 4th july then uh, that uh, disappeared then uh, on 5th july there was cyclonic circulation over north bay and that gradually progressed towards the gangetic west bengal and throughout the whole week we we could see the uh, offshore trough uh, and that uh, few days it was uh, from north maharashtra to uh, north kerala uh, but uh, gradually uh, it uh, now extending up from south gujarat to north kerala so and then there is a shear zone uh, persist uh, persistently uh, appeared during this week uh, uh, nearly around, uh, along 17 degree uh, north latitude so th this was the all and then uh, in between there was also western disturbance uh, on 29th to 1st there is western distance passed over uh, the uh, northwest uh, no northern part of northwest india and then again uh, another uh, western disturbance uh, lying today over uh, northwest india and then uh, due to the all those uh, weather system uh, monsoon covered whole country on 2nd july and now Uh, the whole country is uh, under monsoon and monsoon activity is very good and here we can see daily rainfall time series here we can see that now time series is uh, above uh, nearly above normal all the time that birds are uh, crossing this red line normal line and then here we can see the cumulative rainfall that percentage differential now uh, gradually uh, from negative it was very much negative uh, uh, during mid june but it is now gradually recovered that is now only 5 to minus 5 to 6 percent so here if we see the heavy rainfall activity over the country throughout this week we can see that all dots are nearly everywhere except few subdivision uh, like rail sima or uh, north interior karnataka otherwise we can see uh, uh, heavy rainfall dots or at least uh, all the subdivision got one, uh, one day of heavy rainfall so that is the situation heavy rainfall and here if we see the Uh, distribution of uh, rainfall uh, with different uh, amounts we can see dots are nearly covered whole india so rainfall activity was very much good during this uh, last week and due to that if we see the subdivision wise what is the uh, departure map then we can see only few subdivision for this week are Uh, deficient or uh, that is a red or uh, large deficient that is yellow here we can see odisha vidarbha chatisgarh and gangetic west bengal and uh, here arunachal pradesh and nmmt uh, that north eastern states and uh, there is only himachal pradesh except those all others are normal or above normal so this is the weekly situation and that means the whole week it was plus 16% 
uh, from its uh, climatic normal. That's why if we see the uh, uh, season wise that scenario improved a lot and but still we can see lot of reds are there because of the less rainfall during the month of June. Now if we see the summary of the whole season and week uh, in terms of uh, excess, uh, large excess, normal deficient, large deficient or no ran, then we can see in this week we got 29 subdivision actually normal or above normal. And, and only seven subdivision got uh, deficient or large deficient ra uh, rainfall and that's why the uh, country as a whole it is plus 16 percent and all the subdivision uh, all the different homogeneous region we can see that plus so it was so that all homogeneous region got good amount of rainfall and due to that the situation of the uh, season uh, uh, statistics actually improved and here we can see it is only now minus 7 percent and here uh, still some of the subdivision uh, homogeneous region is negative but central india recovered it is minus 6 only but still southern peninsula is minus 32 and east and northeast is minus 17 but northwest and central india recovered a lot now today this is the situation of the synoptic situation here you can see monsoon trough as uh, is south of its normal position there is a wd there is interaction is going on between monsoon and wd then there is cyclonic circulation over gw and, and adjoining north odisha then there is another uh, cyclonic circulation over south gujarat and then also trough is present so and cr zone is also persistently uh, 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 at uh, up to uh, 700 so uh, hpa level so th that is the uh, more favorable uh, for active monsoon and that's why if we see the next five days uh, rainfall scenario and warning that the first day that is today we can see that lot of uh, uh, subdivisions are getting red or uh, that uh, uh, very much uh, good rainfall so red warning so heavy rainfall warnings are uh, covered over a lot of subdivisions and then gradually that uh, activity is little bit uh, reducing but over northwest India and west India and uh, Ghat region this is not reducing much uh, but uh, northeast India that it will continue it uh, for next two days but then it will reduce but that reduction is not so much evident over northwest India and west India that is uh, continuing and but uh, the heavy rainfall uh, activity will will be little bit uh, reduced so this is the uh, scenario uh, of the warning now if we see the two weeks uh, forecast for rainfall here we can see this first week certainly very good activity of monsoon and but uh, in week two it is uh, getting little reduced but uh, still a lot of rainfall will be uh, there over the whole country and here we can see the anomaly chart here this is the week one here except northeast and eastern india where it's supposed to be uh, ra raining a lot but a little less rainfall we are uh, receiving in this week but uh, northwest india west india central india and uh, also peninsula india this week it is uh, positive uh, anomaly we can see and second week also we can see that uh, positive anomalies are there over uh, in uh, uh, central india and west india and uh, some parts of also northwest india except the foothills and uh, and, and northeast india and some parts of uh, Pen uh, lee region of the peninsular india is getting negative anomaly and if we uh, see the temperature so certainly the, there are a lot of rain so uh, the temperature is very uh, not uh, crossing any 40, 40 degree mark so uh, the whole india we can see uh, it is uh, below 40 degrees so there is no heat wave condition and here uh, anomaly is also showing that except this few patch actually this is uh, all are uh, uh, negative uh, so that means uh, there will not be any heat wave condition and if we summarize the whole uh, weather forecast week wise so south india there will be isolated heavy rainfall it will continue first half of the week and little bit decrease thereafter 
isolated extremely heavy rainfall today it will happen over kerala and coastal uh, karnataka and then west india if you consider the throughout week gujarat state this will continue and uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall also will be there and then over uh, konkan goa and ghat areas uh, of the madhya maharashtra first of the half of the week there will be uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall and then isolated heavy rainfall there after and then northwest india again same thing the most of the uh, uh, days of the week the first week uh, then rainfall will be isolated heavy and then isolated very heavy will be over uttarakhand and uh, east rajasthan uh, and then uh, most of the week, uh, days of the week and but this uttar pradesh actually today it it may happen and then central india if you consider the rainfall isolated heavy rainfall of the first of the half of the week and then it will reduce a little bit and isolated very heavy will be there over chatisgarh today and then east and adjoining northeast india if you consider then heavy to very heavy rainfall over savimanal west bengal sikkim assam so northeastern state uh, meghalaya arunachal pradesh nagaland manipur so during this whole week the heavy to very heavy rainfall will occur and then isolated heavy rainfall will be there over odisha bihar during this week and gangetic west bengal uh, uh, today on uh, 6th and jharkhand it will be on 6th and 7th and if we see the next week the week 2 the monsoon trough will be uh, there active and saw and it will be mostly its normal or south of its normal position and then offshore trough also will be present there uh, uh, then strong westerly southwesterly wind is likely over, uh, along the west coast so therefore there will be very good rainfall isolated heavy rainfall over central parts or uh, along the west coast and then a widespread rainfall activity will be also there southern peninsula india during most of the week and then if we consider the northwest east and northeast india then isolated heavy is likely over northeast and adjoining east india during the um, second week whole and then overall rainfall activity of the second week if we consider it will be above normal over central india normal and above normal also over south peninsula india and northwest india except uh, uh, the western himalayan region and punjab region and then nearly normal over east and northeast india during the week so this is uh, the whole uh, summary of the uh, next two weeks uh, forecast and if you want to get more information please visit our websites or you can access the weather information through our uh, mobile apps and uh, you can uh, also uh, put comments and feedback through that thank you